So it's snowing in La Grande, Oregon. Always be prepared. Look at your weather apps. Of course, the weather app didn't say it was going to snow. It said there was rain showers. But it's frozen rain, I suppose. Well, when fueling your truck, do a walk around. Looks like uh, the wind had its way with uh, the tank cover. So I guess I'll buy one of those. So yeah, do your walk around when you do a fuel. Look at that bug. <laughs> walk around your truck when you fuel. Just figured my fuel and I got 7.4 miles to the gallon. That's fueling up in Laramie and then now getting fuel in La Grande, Oregon. That's not very good fuel mileage. So driving in the wind really sucks. I don't know about you guys, but tell me, let me know in the comments. Does it seem like the wind is getting worse and more violent and more often? Or is it just me? So this truck does fairly good in the wind as far as you know stability because it's a semi but man the fuel mileage so this truck I get right around 9.7 on the average for fuel mileage that's pretty much everywhere this truck doesn't care whether it's loaded unloaded uphill down here it doesn't care except for the wind it does not like the wind so is it worth driving through it anyway even though I can be okay stability wise I'm wondering maybe not it's a bad day anyway for wind today so here's another thing I was thinking about on these winds so most companies say 25 mile an hour sustained winds you got to shut it down I think 20 mile an hour sustained winds is way you're, you should already be shut down because sustained winds really isn't what the concern is it's the wind gusts so if you have a windy app which you should have a windy app or some sort of weather app or a couple of weather apps if you don't you need to get them so when you're looking on there look at the wind gusts because it's the gusts that's going to be the ones that's tipping you in the ditch upside down so if you got a gust of 35 miles an hour and sustained winds is only 15 miles an hour and you're thinking oh i'm okay because it's 15 mile an hour sustained winds i don't have to shut down yet but a 35 mile an hour side wind of a gust is enough to throw you in the ditch upside down um my truck I shut down if there's 40 mile an hour gusts coming from either side. Headwinds, I'm debating about whether or not 35 headwinds just shutting it down just because of fuel mileage and having things fly off of campers. So let me know what you think. Well, we made our delivery. Everything's good. Went pretty good. So, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. Till next time, you guys have a good one.